Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial in Unreal Engine 4 Blueprints. We're back working on the inventory system for our point-and-click game. Uh, so what we're going to work on now, we're going into our HUD class, and what we're essentially going to make is a custom mouse cursor. Um, we're going to allow it to basically cover where the mouse is, things like that. Um, so right now, in the one we've been working on, you know, we have our normal mouse cursor right here, but um, in the other version that I have, we have this special mouse cursor right here. So I already showed you guys how to import uh, textures and everything like that. Uh, so all I'm going to do is hook you guys up with the texture itself, the Targa, uh, for the custom mouse icon that you saw. <clears throat> but what we're going to do is actually work on uh, getting it to draw correctly. So what we need to do, we need to do it within the HUD itself. So what we need to do first is uh, break off where we have the screen dimensions. Go break that off. And we're going to basically move everything just so we have some wiggle room. Oh my god. I can't do it. Alright. So let's move those to the side. Just drop it down. And what we're going to do instead, we're going to right click. We're going to get a sequence because we're going to need to be doing a lot of things at once at a certain point in our HUD. So let's just get a sequence going right now. <clears throat> uh, sequence. Uh, one can go back down to where we draw the HUD menu, but with sequence t uh, zero for the then zero option, uh, we're going to create actually a new uh, function. So right here, plus function. Let's call this draw mouse cursor. And we're going to need a couple of inputs, uh, two to be specific. So let's add two of them. First one's going to be called size x. And we're actually going to take that as an integer. And then we're going to do the same thing, except we're going to call it uh, size y, making it an integer as well. And compile. <clears throat> Go back into our main event graph. And then where it says draw mouse cursor, let's just drag it out. Do then 0 to draw mouse cursor. And then we can just drag the x and the y from our event receive draw HUD. So that's the main uh, function. But now what we need to do is actually give the function itself functionality. So uh, what we need to first do is pretty much get uh, the mouse location and get uh, what it's hovering over, if anything. Uh, right now, again, we're just going to make a basic mouse icon. Uh, it's not going to do anything special than that. But let's first grab uh, the player controller. And then dragging out of that, we're going to grab get hit result cursor by channel. And we're going to leave the trace channel visibility, and we're going to leave trace complex checked. And then we're going to basically break this hit result. And with this hit result, you can basically tell when it's hovering over certain things. So, like, say for example, get hit, we'll do hit actor. Uh, we'll do uh, equal. We can basically do P underscore C, and we can do character. Do a branch, and then from there, connect, and then we'll do some print strings, really. So we'll do hovering over player. And then not hovering over player. true and then false. So let's see if that works. I wonder if it will because I haven't really tested that much. So let's check to see if it checks to see if it's over the player or not. So not hovering over player. So it doesn't undo itself. <coughs> so it can't, it's not really checking if it's hovering over the player or not. So it might be uh, PC underscore character. Maybe you need to do PC player controller. Nope. Can we print that? No. Let's try the component. 
Let's try that instead. I'm just curious. This is not really testing much for what we need it for. But looks like it doesn't work. So at least we can tell it's not hovering. It just never <laughs> basically gets hit <laughs> from the player, or at least not from what I can tell. Uh, but we can try P underscore C player controller for that as well. I'm just curious again, just to see. So, no, it doesn't hover over the player that well. So, again, we can just ignore this. Uh, what we're going to do instead is, uh, for right now, we don't need this section. That's only when we want to add uh, certain functionalities. So, say, for example, you want the mouse icon to change what it's displaying if it's hovering over a certain object. Uh, that's what you'll need this for. Uh, for right now, we'll, we won't do that just because we want to just draw the main default icon. So let's go ahead and uh, draw a material here. Actually, we can do a draw texture. So draw a texture simple. And we're going to need to import that mouse icon. So I'm going to right click import. Should be somewhere in here. Mouse cursor target. Yep. And then draw a texture simple. Just plug that in. And now what we need to do is uh, basically put in some uh, mathematical functionality uh, just so the mouse icon is being drawn over where the mouse is. So let's get the player controller. Do get mouse position. And we're also going to need to get the viewport size. And now uh, we need to do some math. This math still doesn't make too much sense to me. All it really is doing for this math is uh, getting the exact location of the mouse position based on the viewport size. And then that's where, and the results of that is where we're going to basically draw the mouse, uh, the new mouse icon. So this is going to get a little confusing, but uh, first we're going to need some uh, subtract ints. Gonna need two of those x for and y. So what we're gonna do is subtract our size x by our viewport size x, and then same thing for y. And then we're gonna convert these to float. And then we're going to divide it by 2. We're going to do the same for both. And now we need to make a literal float. Oops, I got to spell that right. Make literal. And the best number for this is 28. And now what we need to do, because uh, we're going to get the mouse position, um, we need to add floats here. So plus, oops, plus, so float plus float. So we're going to do the x, and then we're going to do the y. Let's move this back, give us some space. And now we're going to take that literal float, and this is going to go a couple of places. Uh, first, we're going to divide this by 2. Actually, we may not even need that. 
Oh yeah, we will. Okay. What we'll need to do now, uh, once we're done adding, we're going to subtract. So let's do uh, subtract. And both of these are going to do the same kind of subtraction. So this result right here with the literal float divided by 2, this is going to go into both of these. And then the top one's going to go to x, bottom's going to go to y. And now all we have to do uh, last is just set the scaling appropriately. Uh, so right now I'm just trying to make sure I get that number right. Okay. So let's see what it looks like at scale 1. So all we really have to do now is connect these two. And then if we go back into the main event graph, we have the draw mouse cursor, and then we have this nonsense for the menu bar. We can just drag that closer. Let's see if this works. And we see that it is. It's pretty close. Uh, but the issue that we're seeing right here is that our mouse cursor and the default mouse cursor are both there. So what we need to do, uh, before we do that, let's see if we can get the exact position correct, because uh, as you saw, they weren't right above each other. So let's try 26. Let's just play with this number for a bit. It's never really big, just to see what happens. Okay, so it brings it up and to the right. So let's make this 32. Let's keep going. Let's try 50. There we go. So that works the best. So we may, we'll change that make literal float. It was 28, but we'll make it 50. So all we have to do now, I believe it's in our, it's either in the player controller or it's in the game mode. So let's first check game mode. It's not in there, so it has to be player controller. Uh, so where it says default mouse cursor, uh, we'll say none. Compile that. Control S to save. Let's play. And now we just have ours. And now we can change the scaling of it as well. Um, I believe three was the one I chose just to make it nice and big. So that's a little too big. So let's try uh, 1.5. Still a little too big for my taste. Let's try 1.25. That works for me. And we still have the menu bar working. We just have this new mouse icon. And everything still works in terms of moving, clicking, picking up objects, everything we've done so far. Uh, so just to reiterate what we had done, in our main event graph, we created a new function called draw mouse cursor. Uh, in it, for that function, we created two input parameters, size x and size y. Those are both integers. And we get that directly from the event receive draw HUD. And then within that function, what we do is we get the player controller, we get the mouse position, and we get the viewport size. Uh, we subtract the uh, get HUD size X. We subtract, uh, we basically subtract from that the X of the get viewport size, and we do the same thing for the Y. We convert those to floats. We divide them by two to get the center position of the screen. Um, then we basically add the location uh, of the X and add the location of the Y and then subtract it by this make lower float to make it exactly the position that's divided by two and then we take those results make it the x and make it the y for our draw texture simple and in the texture simple we have the t underscore mouse cursor uh, again that's going to be uh, a texture that you're going to import uh, I'm going to send you the target so you don't have to make it so you can just keep following along the way you need to okay so that's going to be it for this tutorial so thanks for watching guys I'll see you next time bye Hey guys, thanks for watching this tutorial. If you want to see more tutorials, definitely click on the links on the right hand side. 
Uh, one link will get you to the playlist for more Unreal Engine 4 Blueprint tutorials. The other one will show you some more Blueprint examples made in Unreal Engine 4. Uh, click on me or the subscribe button to subscribe to Devon Level Design. I would appreciate it. Uh, more subscribers means more fun, means more people learning. Um, also, if you like the video, definitely hit like, share it, uh, and obviously like, give a uh, comment if you've actually learned something, if you enjoy the content. Um, so also, uh, there will be a link for Jevons Cherries, just another channel I'm work on, working on if you ever want to watch it. Um, give that a like, and again, I'll see you next time. Bye!